Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to Wally Weasel. And here we have our, well, our next uh, episode of Cat's Paw. Yes, Cat's Paw, the series where we talk about random things. What's up, wrestling? And all that stuff. And, you know, what's up, wrestling? Uh, streaming and all that stuff. You know, so, let's see. Uh, yeah, you know, so you're probably like, wow, this is a pretty, pretty hardcore game. What's going on here? It's so exciting. What's going on? The explosions. The murders. The blood. The violence. The fighting mongooses. Uh, yes. Uh, um. Well, while you, uh, you watch me be a teacher, uh, we'll be talking about random stuff. Such as Royal Rumble. Now, one of the reasons why I did not do a catch pop for the Royal Rumble it was because there just wasn't much to say about it. I mean, it was the there's, you know, it was, it was interesting. Uh, Crystal Weiss and Doink winning coming on top. Uh, you know, I didn't really wasn't super thrilled. Uh, but you know, uh, there's one thing I don't like about uh, you know, actual moments is that the winners are always so well. It's it's never really a rags to riches story, hardly ever. Sometimes they do them, but not often enough. So I figured when Doink and Crystal won, rather than just uh, restart the Royal Rumble and try for different outings, I would take the challenge. And hopefully, uh, thus far, I have proven myself capable of turning these uh, two superstars into potential believable challengers for the title. Well, I mean, it's not just me, it's also the uh, algorithm or whatever you want to call it, the AI. That helps determine uh, victories and all that other stuff. Though, you know, promo wise, I have been working hard on uh, Crystal Weiss trying to make her seem believable, and I've just been hoping for the best with Doink, and thus far, it's been going pretty well with him. So, I do think that uh, I've succeeded, maybe, you know, if you guys feel any differently, which is, you know, that's what the comment sections are all about. Aside from that, basically, the Men's Royal Rumble, you may have noticed. A lot of people just kept coming in very, very rapidly, and that was by my design. Uh, because I did try a 90 second intervals between the competitors, and it didn't work. What would happen is the AI would, again, it's the AI is designed for Royal Rumbles, uh, it's designed to go towards the victory, obviously. Uh, and the victory for a Royal Rumble is to eliminate your opponent. So what does the AI do? It goes right to eliminating people. So you have two people starting, and you know I think uh, when I did uh, my first attempt at the Royal Rumble, I started off with Craig Stevens and Number Guy. Uh, Craig Stevens would eliminate Number Guy, and then you know uh, I think it was Jeffrey Jones who came in number three. Craig Stevens would eliminate Jeffrey Jones, and then we had to rush in the next person. Which was Wild Child, and Wild Child eliminated Craig Stevens. So there goes the, you know, the uh, kind of rock classic type story of Craig Stevens just running through the Royal Rumble. Nope, it's just random. It's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. One eliminated the next, and then just waiting until the next person comes out. And that just was not exciting. I mean, the Royal Rumble was the most exciting when there is chaos, carnage, and all that other good stuff. So I did a second Royal Rumble. And yeah, change the intervals to 30 seconds. And thankfully, it uh, produced some rather chaotic moments, which was nice, you know, because that's all the fun stuff. And then uh, Doink winning, and then having that uh, stare down after three minutes of competition with Scarlet Clown, like, oh yeah, we're fighting. Uh, you know, that was, that was rather interesting. Um, so yeah, so that is basically it for the Royal Rumble. And that is why I did not. Uh, do anything for the Rumble, because there just wasn't much backstage shenanigans to uh, talk about. Now, when it comes to Fastlane, that's a whole different story, and that worked out very, very perfectly, in my uh, opinion. Uh, Emily losing the first match against Charlotte Flair put a bit of stress on uh, West of Wrestling, and me uh, as well, because I really was hoping to... Uh, do a WrestleMania. Uh, if, you know, 
Rock Class or DX ended up winning. I probably wouldn't have run a storyline. It's definitely going like, screw it, we're going to run it anyway. What are they going to do? They're just going to try and kind of ruin it or whatever. But no, uh, thankfully I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to uh, resort to, you know, doing some kind of cheap thing like having Joe Mania or Wally Mania or What's Up Mania. No, we're doing WrestleMania because we won the challenge because the AI said, yes, you can have your uh, WrestleMania. Uh, the tag match went by really, really well. I like the uh, how the tag match went out. Uh, you know, as I said in the commentary, it's probably the first time I've ever actually been cheering for Roger Desmond and Tony J. Smith. But uh, yeah, so that was interesting. And then, ooh, the main event. The main event. Yes, pins and needles, ladies and gentlemen. Pins and needles is what I was basically sitting on when it came down to Brock Lesnar and Ranger. Ranger kicking out after four out fives. Ooh, that was a big one. That was, that was, that was good. Ranger uh, coming out victorious there. I expect big things for Ranger moving on, but not quite yet. Yes, I know Ranger is one of those superstars where it's like, why have you pulled the trigger on him yet? And that is because if I pull the trigger on him, I don't know who would be able to stop him. It's sort of like, uh, you know, they kind of pulled the trigger on Undertaker so many times, but they didn't because he was so busy on other things. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's kind of what you want to do. And so that is what Ranger is doing. He is busy on other things. Right now he is feuding with Buddy. He might be going to WrestleMania against Buddy. He might be going to WrestleMania against Kanak. We'll never know. We'll, well, I mean, we'll, we'll know. <laughs> In a few weeks' time, when WrestleMania happens, uh, let's see, when will be WrestleMania happen? It looks like the uh, start of April. Well, I don't even know the dates of uh, my own shows because, yes, WrestleMania for Watch of Wrestling is going to be piggybacking off of WrestleMania for the three and, yeah, okay, so the end of the month, end of March. So that should be, that should be fun, you know? Uh, we'll see uh, if we can piggyback a few views. Throw up some WrestleMania be all like, hey, everybody, you want to see WrestleMania early? <laughs> uh, fun stuff. So that is the What's Up Wrestling news. Um, just kind of building up the card slowly and surely and doing all that other fun stuff. Make sure the shows go up and on live. A lot of promos. A lot of promos. There's at least three promos. The Emily promo wasn't supposed to even happen. I set it up. I deleted it because I was going to save it for next week, but the game's like, no, uh, we're going off the previous save. So, you know, the Emily promo is still going on. So that's, that's why there's so many, uh, so many uh, Vixen promos on this past week's episode. Yes, I am recording this. Monday, the 27th, which is just right after recording West of Wrestling, and I am saving this for Saturday. As you, you know, as you can see. Uh, Charles Madison investigates will obviously be continuing on. This will be uh, fun. And, yeah. What else has happened in the grand spectrum of Wally Weasel? Well, I think we had a taste, like our second taste, of a semi-viral video, which was uh, rather fun. It was the uh, final episode for Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VII, the re-upload, which I didn't think would get as many views as it did, but, well, I'm uh, probably proven wrong, because I think within a day it, uh, did triple numbers. Yeah, so that was fun. It was for a uh, final episode of Western or Final Fantasy, a game that was, yeah, uh, rather interesting. I mean, it's old. I don't know why people would be looking for it, but hey, you know, I'm, I'm happy for it. Uh, you know, as it stands right now, 154 views. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't normally look at analytics, because analytics is a rabbit hole that you just never, never, never get out of. Um, but I was curious, and that one of you. And yeah, it, uh, it didn't really learn anything. <laughs> this is YouTube analytics, because I was kind of curious where all the views were coming from, but no, it's, it's whatever. Uh, but yeah. yeah, but uh, I think I said this on a live stream following that, but the weird thing is, is that it's actually blocked in uh, Japan for I think 15 seconds of one song, like 15 seconds of a three minute song. 
which is just like I don't know, whatever. Uh, for so unfortunately, you know, the Japanese will just never know how Final Fantasy VII remake ends. And uh, Fast Lane did okay, you know. Okay, uh, for a review. I'm rather happy with that. But it also got partially blocked. I think. Oh, uh, yes, right. The, the video type deal with DX when uh, DX entered. I guess there's some copyright, something about them, and not showing that to India because India is where Fastlane was blocked. Well, it's just lots of random things here with YouTube that you learn as uh, you put up videos and stuff. So, uh,. If anyone from India is watching this, my apologies. Fastly not uh, getting to you. Anyone from Japan watching this, my apologies that the final episode of uh, Final Fantasy did not get to you. It's just how YouTube works, and I didn't even know that uh, they would copyright certain video aspects for uh, WWE, which is from the mid 90s. And it's funny because WWE did try to push it to India like a few years ago. I don't know, maybe there's still a story about that. I don't know, it's, it's very, 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 very confusing. Anyways, um, yeah. Other than that, I mean, I did kind of start doing my uh, views or my live streams on YouTube. Uh, I find it a little easier, you know, a little easier to manage. I can do everything up and, and then just kind of say, okay, that's it, I'm done. Uploading, not to worry about waiting or anything like that. Uh, not that I minded Twitch. It's just, I don't know. I like kind of making everything nice and clean on uh, YouTube. You know, it's got my live folder, my live tab, and then uh, everything else. So, yeah, that's, that's fine. I like that. You know, it's, as I said, nice and clean. Uh, aside from all that, yeah, that's really about it. I have to. Sign up a WrestleMania promo now, or you know, like a date type promo thing to uh, throw up on my YouTube page sometime either today or tomorrow. Uh, so that should be uh, rather fun to start putting them up on my uh, episodes. So you know, look forward to that coming up. Yeah, it's not gonna be anything big, it's just gonna still be uh, you know, WrestleMania the date. It's just guys, you know. Um, so yeah, thank you all for uh, tuning in. Uh, see, it is a couple days before what I would call the anniversary of uh, West of Wrestling. Let's see, it is Wednesday. Yeah, so I was going to do up a video. I don't think it's going to be able to come out in time, unfortunately. It's going to suck. But, you know, I'm going to have an extra long live stream. Super long live stream. It'll be the anniversary live stream for... Uh, Wally Weasel, even though I know like, I started my channel in January, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I consider the start of my channel to be the first episode, not really the first episode, but the first standing of West Side Wrestling, which is the Kitty versus Emily matchup. So that was on March 1st. So yeah, uh, we'll be celebrating that anniversary with the extra long live stream of Mass Effect doing an entire DLC, or at least hoping to do an entire DLC. I hope, I hope we get that entire DLC out of that. That'd be nice. We'll see. Uh, until then, um, yeah, it's just a short little update video. Uh, nothing new going forward that I could uh, really announce now. Um, like, no new series or anything like that. I don't want to promise anything because I've been pretty lazy. I could promise profiles again, but you all know how it's going to happen. We'll hear about it again next uh, episode of Cat's Paw. But uh, yeah, it's just a nice little chat type video, and I uh, hope to see you all going forward. Bye, everybody.